Gang, what is up? We are in Green Park today, which is a slightly different end of London, which I'm used to shooting at. So hopefully we'll be able to come up with something a little bit different, a little bit, a little bit spicy. Um, I am feeling very tired right now. I uh, yeah, met up with some friends last night and feeling the consequences of that today. So need to get that oat flat white, but there's nowhere around here that does good coffee. So we are going to, <laughs> to have to wander and endure the pain for a little bit longer. Yeah, at the moment, there's no real plan. Wander, explore, see what's up, make the most of this beautiful, interesting light, and uh, yeah, figure out how to go along. So I accidentally made the rookie mistake of only packing one battery with me because my spare one is in my other rucksack. So I'm gonna have to slow down, I'm gonna have to try and be a little bit more deliberate. Um, which isn't going to be too hard because my brain still hasn't started working yet. Whether this will work or not, I have no idea. But I found these three trees in a row. They found some nice shadows coming this way. So I'm going to try to place a subject at the end of those three trees. And so hopefully we'll create like a pattern of one, two, three, and you break it on the fourth with the subject, which will hopefully draw your eye to the subject. That's the plan, whether it works or not. on the X100V Facebook group the other day and I saw some absolutely incredible photos where some guy was shooting blossom trees with a slow shutter speed and I found a very pretty tree so I'm gonna try and experiment see yeah see what I can do it, I think it's gonna be hard but yeah let's let's give it a whirl So, so difficult. And I'm not sure whether I've got a single photo that I'm particularly happy with. I have no idea how this guy riding a bike managed to take such incredible photos. He is clearly very, very talented. So I'm going to, yeah, probably have to come back probably quite soon because the blossom is going to go away. But yeah, I need something more battery to try and figure this one out. thought that on the weekend where every single person in the UK has got a day off that it would be really busy and quite challenging to shoot street photography but I found this spot here so we've got this nice avenue of trees but I'm interested in this little bit here and so I've chosen this little bit here because we've got this really nice shadowy shape coming out towards us I've also lined up this tree and the tree behind it so it looks like one big fat tree so then we get this nice gap here that we can then place a subject as they're walking along to then get the rows of trees into the distance leading you off into that with the subject over here. When I'm walking around on days where there's a lot of atmospheric haze going on, so the distance is very hazy, whereas the near ground is very contrasting. I like to really emphasize that by placing a subject in the foreground, but it's typically very dark or has a lot of contrast to it. So that really emphasizes how in the distance, there's a lot of haze going on. And I find that by doing that, it just adds so much more depth to your photos which then makes them so much more visually interesting. But that doesn't always happen. So <laughs> that's always uh, a nice to have. But I think that, yeah, it's much better to get a photo with a beautiful composition than to be too focused on trying to really 
emphasize the atmospheric haze unless that is the subject of course in which case then yeah you definitely want to be trying to emphasize it as much as possible because that is at the end of the day one of the principles how can you really emphasize the subject that you're trying to bring out